Hi there everyone, once again we're at the AP Archive with film archivist Jenny Hamilton. Now last time we were here I dipped into the British Movie Tone Archive which is a section of the archive here using the white gloves of destiny and I think I did pretty well. You did. Oh, we have got something very interesting. We have Hitler at Germany army manoeuvres. The exercises are of long duration. Over a million men they say are in the field and the eyes of all Europe are watching. Now we're going to find out if Jenny can do any better. I can't believe I'm getting the chance to do the White Gloves of Destiny. This is really exciting. This is once in a lifetime stuff. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe you're letting me do it. Right. So you have to close your eyes. You can go anywhere. Now you have an advantage because you know, you know these drawers <laughs> better. So. Not really. I like, the, I like the feel of this one. Okay. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're cheating. No, I'm not cheating. All right. Soviet tour, we've got 1956. Sailors from Soviet warships that brought Marshal Balganin and Mr. Khrushchev to London. Sightseeing. Uh, so Sailors sightseeing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't get too excited. <laughs> was it broadcast? Yeah, it, it was. was used in issue 1403. So newsreel 1403 would have been shown in the cinemas for like a few days or about a week. Yeah. And yeah. this would have been one of the stories. Yeah on Reel 1403. Yeah, there would have been like six or seven stories in one newsreel. So various, some hard news, some fun stuff, some sailors wandering around town. <laughs> All right. This is going to be good. Soviet sailors. <laughs> Let's get a reserve, like a backup, a okay. provisional card, a second choice. We'll put this to one side. Right, I'm going to go for this one. All right. Keep them shut. No, I don't like you're them. You're I don't like, I know I've not got my eyes open. You're totally peeking. What's this one? Christmas in Bethlehem. Oh. <laughs> Cut story. Bethlehem. Arab shepherds tend their sheep, which also includes goats. Church of the Nativity. Small mm. entrance, eye of the needle. So this is in 1946. 46. Yeah. On the 2nd of December. Mm. And then it was broadcast on the 30th. Soviet sailors sightseeing in London. I'm excited about the sailors, not so much about the Christmas. <laughs> I'm kind of the opposite. I'm quite, oh, really? I'm quite, quite looking forward to Bethlehem. <laughs> OK, we're in the viewing room now. Let's start with the one you pulled out second. OK. Christmas in Bethlehem. There we go. The Holy Land at Christmas. A Christmas view of the Holy Land as seen from the tower of the Church of the Nativity. In Bethlehem of Judea, there were shepherds tending their sheep. That's the Bible story, and it's as true today as it was 1946 years Aww. ago. Oh, they're nice, aren't yeah. they? Is that bad to have goats among the flock? I don't know. There are some changes in Bethlehem, too. Christian churches of the world have established a great shrine on the supposed site of Christ's birth. The building is entered through a small opening called the Needle's Eye, with the practical ah. object, so it is said, of stopping camel drivers taking a shortcut through the courtyard. Oh, oh, there we go. Now, yeah. we know, now we know what it is. So, I mean, if you think about it, in the 40s, very few people would have got to travel to see these places. So there's a lot of kind of travelogy type stuff in the newsreels because it was a chance for people to see what the world was like outside Britain. Yeah. All right, then. Are you ready? Sailors. You ready for your, are you ready for your sailor? <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> All right. All right. It's going to be good. All right. Sailors from the Soviet warships that brought Marshal Bulganin and Mr. Khrushchev here have been to London doing a bit of sightseeing. Naturally, the Karl Marx statue in Highgate Cemetery was high on the list of things to be seen. They may have been surprised to find such a memorial preserved in this country. Oh, I've got the cameras. Oh, cute. They were great, those cameras. Yeah, that's really nice. The cenotaph in Whitehall was included in the round London tour made by the Soviet Premier and the Communist Party Secretary. They came to pay a tribute to the fallen and laid a large wreath. Great stuff, this is. It's nice, isn't it? Off to see the PM. I quite fancy Anthony Eden, so I hope we get... Oh, there he is! <laughs> I think he was a very handsome man. I definitely think you cheated with this card. <laughs> Strict security arrangements, notably a large police motorcycle escort, were much in evidence. I love all the old motorbikes, the old cars, you know. Now, a luncheon at the Soviet Embassy. 
Sir Anthony talks with Marshal Bulganin, and Mr. Khrushchev approves the selection of wine. The Conservative and Labour parties were both represented at this friendly get-together, a chance to exchange points of view and make or renew acquaintance. There you go. So you see, you often get a glimpse into the next story. So yeah. it's really bizarre. You've got badminton horse trials after that. It's such a mixture of content in each newsreel. I mean, this stuff of uh, Khrushchev, especially going into Downing Street, that's mm. like that's great footage. Because yeah. I can imagine if you were making a documentary about the history of 10 Downing Street and mm. you want to show all these famous people going yeah. through the door, you know. You get a lot of that, yeah. This is a bit of a weird question. Hmm. When you're watching all this old footage and you're seeing person after person after person, do you sometimes think, look at all those people who were like happy and living lives and they're all dead? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's a weird feeling because it, it feels so current when you're watching it. Yeah. It feels like people are coming and going yeah. from Downing Street, but of course none of them exist anymore. But even just the people on the side of the street, you know, yeah. the policeman or the person mm. smiling and waving or the person just waiting to cross yeah. the road, you're thinking... Not around anymore. Yeah. There's so much fascinating stuff in this collection. It's just a joy to work with. There's just treasures at every turn. Well, you have picked two very good ones. I'm pleased with those. I, uh, I think we're going to have to do some more at some point. Can this, we? This has been so much fun. It was fun, yeah. Mm. It's brilliant. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And letting me wear the white gloves of destiny. This episode was brought to you by 23andMe, the online genetics service that can help you learn what the 23 pairs of chromosomes that make up your DNA can teach you about your ancestry, traits, and health. If you'd like to help with scientific research and discoveries, or maybe just learn your own personal DNA story, go to 23andMe.com objectivity.